Hi, hello again. Uh, today our video will be about uh, Stripe payment gateways. Uh, actually, there is many payment gateways. Uh, same World Pay, Stripe, uh, PayPal. There is a lot of them. So today I, I just choose this one. I will try to explain it and I will try to implement it with .NET Core because as there is not many uh, videos or examples about this payment gateways. So our first payment gateway will be about Stripe. So what we are going to do today, uh, we'll implement checkout. So something, uh, let's say, similar to uh, uh, if you go to ePay, you can find a checkout button, pay with a PayPal. I don't know, maybe I can find a small example uh, what I have done exactly with the Stripe. Let me uh, show you, maybe a small example. So. If I go to Visual Studio, I think I have something grown now. So this one. So if me just go to my pending orders. So let's suppose here one of my payments. I need to pay this one. So this checkout page, similar to all websites. So here Stripe they give you uh, many options. Uh, first option to integrate what they have given you. So they are giving you small uh, forum. It's read, uh, written by uh, by them, or you can choose something customized. Customized mean you can do everything by yourself. You can, I suppose, under this button, you can put all the fields you need: uh, the card number, your uh, C, uh, VC, SAC number, or your expired date. Uh, so I will try to explain the other one, the customized one, and same time I will try to explain this one too. So this one, what I will try to do today. We'll do it by uh, ASP.NET Core step by step with you. Uh, okay, let's let me just try or do something here. How how it will be this one? What we'll do today? Sorry. So we'll ask us about email. So you need any uh, card number, test number from them. I'll put my test number, expired date, anything after this year. Let's suppose three numbers. Say pay. This will payment will go to your Stripe. I will show you exactly how, how what we, uh, we, uh, we have done step by step. So we'll finish this one. We'll give you your confirmation number. That's great. So uh, let's close this this one. Okay. I will, I will open new project. We'll do it step by step. That's great. So first things we uh, will uh, will create a new project. We'll choose ASP Core. Let's call it Stripe. Okay. Uh, let's call it Stripe uh, with app. So it will be uh, MVC application. Let's leave it same that. Let's say yeah. We'll choose 2.2. Uh, today, till today, it's the newest version. No need to choose anything other. No need authentication. Just, it's just I want to show you the payment. Don't want to show you other things. Uh, after we create this one, uh, what we'll do after that? After that, we'll install install the nugget package for Stripe. We'll create our controller. After that, we can create the will create same time the razor page, and we'll show you step by step. So first things we needed is to uh, go to manage nugget. We'll try to find the stripe. Sorry, we need to install. If there is money. Just I think the official one. This one. So uh, the second step, uh, we need to add the Stripe uh, secret key and publish key to our uh, app setting. Let's close this one. No need it. And this one, no need it too. Let's go to sorry to the app setting. So in the app setting, just under this one here, I suppose, you need to write this. The following lines should be exactly same. Nothing different. The secret key and the publish key you can get them from Stripe. 
I will show you maybe maybe I can show you here uh, how to uh, to find this key. Let's suppose it goes drive. Okay. Yeah, just need to register. It's a uh, very simple way. Just register with them. If you go to dashboard, same here. I, I already register. I just simple. That's your email, your password, and that's it. If you need to activate your account, because uh, you are a developer now, you need to create this account for someone. So everything you need to do is go to the developers after you create your uh, account. Go to developers, API keys. So here they will give you your tokens, your uh, publish key and your secret key. This things you need to. Uh, uh, it's alright. I can show you. It's not that uh, big, uh, big thing because it's it's test one, okay. And they show you here, even here, it's test, okay. If you need to activate for life for your customer for your uh, partner, just need to fill the form for them, and after that you can submit it. It's very easy. It's simpler than uh, Word Pay and simpler than anything. So let me show you. I think I have done payment. If you see before a few minutes ago. Uh, so that payment, uh, I can't remember, it was I think 50 pounds, yeah, 50 pounds exactly. So here they show you the amount you have paid, it's successful, and your transact, your description, and who is the customer, I put, if you remember that mail, and they show you everything here. Uh, so, uh, let's close this one, I'll leave it on the other side, and uh, let's continue on with our integration. So as, as we said here, we in the app setting, we add our... Uh, uh, configurations the as uh, the secret key and the publish key let's close this one and save it uh, the second step is we need to add a bit configuration in our uh, startup file but before the startup file let's add uh, okay let's add in the startup so in the startup what we need to go to the startup to the configuration here and the button uh, what we need to uh, write here we need to call the stripe uh, I think Stripe configuration. I think this one should come like this. Yep, from Stripe. Say dot app uh, app key. So I need the app key of my uh, my my app key. So where I, I save it already. I save it already on the configuration dot uh, get. Uh, should be get setting get section sorry get section so what I call that section I will copy it one by one show you just exactly how it does okay let me close this one I need to copy first by this one string it can be exactly same because you will read it from the side you need to put them in this one so it will go to this link to get my secret key that's right here we here why we added here already we added to use it with our razor page because i don't need to write the secret key or the public uh, public key my public key in the front i can call them just from my app setting i don't need to come uh, create them everywhere so uh, the next step is what i need to do I need to add the class. Uh, first of all, let me add folder called data. In the data, I need to add the class. Uh, let me call it uh, Stripe settings. In the Stripe setting, I need to call. I need to add two fields. I call first one secret key, and the second one it will be publish key. That's a great. Why you need them this one? When we use the injection in our razor code, it will be better to use it from this side. So the second step, let's back to our startup saying. In the startup after MVC, we need to add a new service. Now we need to register our uh, our stripe. So let's say uh, configuration. I don't know which one of them. Yeah, let's do this one. Uh, we said inside it, we need the class. What class we, sorry, oh, sorry, too much. So the class we have created, this one, let's take the name exactly. We back with it here. And we call it here, take an instance from it here. So, 
okay I need same time to get my stripe connection all the all the string I written I have written in the my uh, application setting the JSON file that get section get section so which one exactly I need from there I need all the stripe I need both of them that's it here so uh, here let's say we finish 15% from our work now what we should do after this step we need to create our controllers after that we can create our razor key okay uh, the controller we have here uh, let's use same home controller we can uh, modify this one I don't need to add many controls because we have already one here so uh, the code will be in the index between this one the HTML code and the razor code and same time we'll have the our controller the data will come from the index we'll add it in the we'll add it in the uh, index page so in the index page what we need exactly there uh, first of all we need to inject the or get the data as I told you in the st uh, startup file we add the configuration keys there how to get them now I need to uh, you, uh, inject them in the in the other page so I need to use Microsoft uh, that extensions dot option so after that add in inject like need now here inject I option I need which one stripe I call it stripe here so but which my class I need to call my class what I call my class here account I think stripe uh, my project name where I find my project name with app dot I put in data I put it there and this one here so here I I, uh, write, I write this one here now uh, to call my uh, publish key or my secret key from here this one I don't need to write them again here so uh, the code now what you need to add here we need to add the forum uh, when you press on the button as I show you to show you the uh, forum from stripe so I will copy the code from uh, stripe website I will modify it here and show you step by step what we will do so this is the ready forum in the stripe website so let me just uh, update something here I don't need these things here uh, I will call this one ASP dash action will be charge and my ASP dash controller will be home and the method will be post uh, so here what they are doing they calling the JavaScript for checkout and they have the they are writing the button and as I told you here stripe to call my publish key I don't need you can delete this one and you can write straight away you can write your uh, publish key and the amount here it's not necessary you can delete it if you like so uh, I don't need this video to be long uh, I'll stop here and start with the, uh, with you in the second video